Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're looking, or like we're rearranging a cabinet and optimizing storage. Yeah, so I have my storage area kind of thing. And so I'm going to put in a video of what it used to be like. So that'll be in now. I may have to do some digging around for it because I used to have it on my computer and then I think I deleted it so I'll have to take it off my memory bank and then yeah but it'll be in right now so over here we have the bottom row which is running kind of in jump rope so down here there's two jump ropes you can't see it there's my Brooks I think those are the Mach 18 and then my Nike M8s. Up here we have climbing, so I got rope, chalk, shoes, and a harness. The harness is in the bag, it also in that bag has two repelling devices. This level we got my four bike tires, which as a recording, they're not in the bike, but in a video that's coming out before this one, they're in the bike. Got my helmet, snacks for when I'm biking. Uh, textbook and just notebooks then up here we got beer glasses puppers if you know what puppers is you're you're one of the OGs there's also a letter Kenny uh, beer cozy two hockey pucks that are uh, oh, what's the word promo products for Syngenta Got two running hats, a waterproof bag lining, the pop-up backpack, headlamp, camping bowl and spoon, batteries for the headlamp, notebook. And then up here we've got safety glasses, safety sunglasses, safety sunglasses, and then all this is sunglasses. That's what it used to look like, however, this is what it now looks like. shelf we have safety glasses and then sunglasses over here so we have you know standard safety glasses then we have sunglass safety glasses and then over here athletic shades and then party shades then going down a level we have kind of more of the camera gear stuff so in here we have all of my drone stuff so my drones in here my controllers in here and all three charged batteries are in here all ready to go normally they are sitting out here however i put it in there taking it out the other day and it just didn't kind of spread it all back out in case i decide to grab and go with it also we have the joby gorilla pod i keep it fully extended just because i kind of have like mini ocd so i don't want it to be out of shape and then i can't get it back with that we also have the mini tripod I use, the Manfrotto, just so that way that's also grab and go, because with the Joby I like to have it where I can set it up for shots, and then the Manfrotto is what I tend to use more if I'm vlogging. Beside that we have one of my batteries right down here, so that's one of the three batteries that I have, second obviously being in here, one more in the charging bank, which I'll explain in a little bit. On the third shelf, or the middle shelf, whichever you want to say, we have all of the fun stuff. So, over here we have three batteries. I know it's hard to see them. Those batteries go to the camera sitting on the tripod right there. Just, just in case I ever need them, I have them ready in case I want to take it off the tripod. I also have... So there are also all the drone accessories in here. There's a mini tripod here in case I need a certain shot that I can't get with my other tripods and a phone holder. There is also GoPro stuff here. So I have a chest mount, 
a head mount. We have the chest mount, the head mount, this cable, which I'll explain if I haven't already in a previous video. We have the back doors, the GoPro itself, and then in here is kind of a miscellaneous thing. So we have the gooseneck in there. We have the hat clip and a spare mounting bracket, floaty back door, and the suction. So I wish to get into more of like fishing kind of things and with the GoPro Hero Plus, which I have, it's hard to do a continuous recording because it only has like a two and a half hour battery lifespan and it, you can't interchange the batteries. So I bought this cable so that way it can plug in as I'm recording, it uses up the battery, though as soon as I stop recording, it'll begin to charge right away automatically. So that way I'm able to kind of make the most out of my time. On the second to last shelf, we have all the biking stuff and camping stuff. So we got the bike helmet, snacks, the two spare inner tubes are over here, bike lock, tie down cables, spare cleats for indoor biking and mountain biking, the saddle bag, small pump and then for camping stuff we have a headlamp travel journal pop-up backpack rain cover bowl and spork for the last shelf it's kind of hard to see because i do have the boxes here here so this one is kind of based more towards running so we still have my Two sets of spikes here, the M8s and the Mach 18s. Beside that, we have my running hats, nut butter. Uh, what is that? That is a glowing band. So if you're running in the dark, you click it, and it's like one of those slap bracelets. So you slap it around like your ankle and it makes it so people can see your ankle. At the moment, those boxes are still sitting here. I want to move those out of the way so eventually you'll be able, or I'll be able to have my bike shoes here, and my running shoes here. Right now, my running shoes are currently sitting here. Those are my Hoka Oneones and my Nikes are right here, sitting in the dark. So that is the next step is to move those boxes, get them out of the way, open up that gym shark, gym shark package, so that way I'm able to put all my shoes there that I need to do grab and go with. Moving on to the charging station, this is where it becomes a work in progress. As you can see, we have the charger for the batteries for the old camera, so that's the old camera battery charger, the new camera battery charger. Now it gets difficult because at the time I'm recording this, we're still in the early phases of the reopening plan after the lockdown. And one of the weird things about the lockdown is you can't buy phone chargers because they're not deemed essential. I wish I'm getting like two or three cables being one or two micro USBs and then a USB-C. So, these two camera battery chargers, they run off of micro USB. However, everything for my drone runs off of a USB-C. And the only USB-C that I have to myself right now is the one that they give you in the package. However, that's like a foot and a half, so it doesn't really serve the purpose I need it for. I have a power bar down here, which I wish to make it so like I plug everything into that power bar and then, you know, the chargers are always going to be set and ready if, like, except for the drone one, the drone one I'll take. And then as I use it, put it back in and then charge it. But for the other ones, like this one for my T7i batteries, it basically shuts off if it knows that the batteries are in it, are full, or if it's not being used. So that'll be plugged in most of the time, and then batteries in, charge automatically, and that way it can just be a quicker system and make it more efficient. But that is kind of what I'm working on next. 
as I said, we are still in the early stages of the reopening process when I'm recording this, so that will be a further step, and I'll probably talk about it in another video, or at least show me getting the stuff. But that is one of my future steps, is building that charging station and getting that fully developed. <laughs> With that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below anything you want to see, every anything you want to hear, anything you want to talk about. Comment it all down below. While you're down there, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're being around here. Don't forget, don't party too hard. And I'll catch up you guys again in the next video. Oh, I don't know why my shoulders are burning so much, but like that's why I've had to keep switching. It was like I hold it for a little bit and then my shoulder just gets stuck dinging but like i said thank you guys for watching don't forget don't party too hard and i'll catch up you guys in the next video have a good one